Terlings is one of 18 teams in the state that remain undefeated, but if they want to get to 7-0, they have to go through the powerhouse that is Lafayette Christian. That's why it's our game of the week. Our Megan Glover is standing by with a preview. Hey, Megan. Yes, Seth, we talked about uh, Lafayette Christian embracing change as they moved up to class 4A, and so far they've handled it well. I believe putting 50 points on the board against their first district opponent last week might be enough proof, but tonight they face the challenge of facing a fresh team from across the way. Now both teams averaging over 30 points this season, so the chances of putting points on the board is very likely. Before the Knights, their defense has to show up to cool off a hot Rebels team. The defense allowing an average of 20 points per game this season, and for the 5-1 and one Knights, they can't afford to take plays off. Our defense, we got a versatile defense, really versatile. We got some backers that can run, some fast backers, D-line fast, corners fast. We got safeties, we got everything. We got it. We'll we have to play, uh, play our style, be us, be who we are, uh, do what we do, and um, you know, just, just be as competitive as we can from the first snap to the last in all three phases of the game. Now, Seth, I'm going to keep it simple. If I had a dollar for every time LCA turned me earlier this week that in order to win tonight, they need to just do what they do, I could probably run to concessions, go grab a nachos and some Powerade. But we'll just end it right there. Now, we'll have highlights later tonight at 10, and then we'll run them back tomorrow and Friday night football. Well